Today we are going to be taking a tour of Grand Helms here in the city of Corinth, Texas. Not sure where Corinth is. Well, it's just north of Dallas off of I-35 East and a little south of Denton. And I have other videos on Denton, so that might give you a little bit of a reference of where it is. Um, really Corinth and Denton and Lake Dallas, Lake Dallas seem to be a little bit interchangeable. Um, Corinth is Denton ISD. Um, but we'll get into that more in the video. But what I'm excited about is to take you on a tour of this grand home here in Corinth, Texas, because you get a lot of options when you're purchasing from this builder. And this model home is absolutely beautiful. I know you're going to absolutely love it. Um, so we're going to get that to that in just a minute. But um, I'm Jennifer Fowler and my husband and I, Brandon, we run Fowler Realty Team in the North Texas area. We have people just like you reaching out to us all the time, looking to make a move to North Texas or just wondering what it's like to live there and curious about maybe what city they should move to. Look, we absolutely love that. So if that's you, you can give us a call, shoot us a text, all the info's in the description below. But let's take a look at this beautiful model home here in Corinth, Texas. Okay, I have flipped my camera around because I know you would rather see this house than me. It is a little rainy outside today. It's sprinkling a little bit. It is mid-November. I think we're going to hit maybe 50 today with some sprinkles. So anyway, just to give you a little bit of a update on what the weather's doing right now in North Texas. Yes, we do get rain. Okay, so here is this absolutely beautiful, beautiful home. We're going to go inside. I love the driveway and how grand this home is. So let's go through the front door and take a look. As soon as you step into this 4,100 square foot home, you are just amazed from the very, very beginning. I wanna take you through each space. I also want to point out real quickly um, that right off the front door, this area right here is the garage, um, but it's the sales center since this is a model home. So I just want you to be aware of that as we walk by it on occasion. Um, but let's go this way because this is drawing my eye. Uh, first of all, they did a fantastic job on the design here, but this would be your study if that's what you chose for it to be. This could be your home office or your study. I love that it's right off the front of the house in these beautiful big windows that let in a lot of light because I like to be able to see what's going on in my front yard. So this area right here is very interesting. So one thing about grand homes that you need to know is you get a lot of options here. It's kind of rare to find a builder where you can change so many things or add things or take away things. But this space right here could just be an extra living space or this could be your third car garage. I personally love what they did here with it rather than a third car garage. This just is a great space. It could even be your office. And for me, I think it would just be my space. I think I would have to take over and this entire area would be my space. So here it is from the other direction. Okay, well, let's keep going. I love the detail in the ceiling. You can see that up there. Some beautiful detail in the ceiling. And then across the way, we've got this bedroom down here, which now this could also be the third car garage instead. If you didn't want that space across there to be the third car garage, this could be if you chose to do that. Love that they have wallpaper. I say all the time, go crazy with wallpaper. It's easy to change. This is a good sized bedroom. You can see that there's plenty of space here for nightstands and a dresser. Once again, nice detail with a bench in the window. Okay, so this is a downstairs bedroom. We will go upstairs later, but for now we're gonna keep on the main floor. This is the laundry room. Now there isn't a washer and dryer in here because this is the sales center, but this will be your laundry room. So great space in here as well. And now we're gonna head to one of my favorite spaces, which is the living room and the kitchen. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, this home is a little over 4,100 square feet. It is on an 80 foot lot. Grand Homes offers lots um, from 40 feet, 50, 60, and 80 foot lots. So this one is on an 80 foot lot. The 40 foot lots are what they call their carriage style homes, which are much, the lots are gonna be much smaller. And look over here, they've even got a built in wine rack here. That's a great, great touch. Not only is it a built-in wine rack, 
but you can close it off. That is a great detail. I love that. And then you can see the fireplace, how the wood detail goes all the way up to the ceiling. Very tall ceilings in this house. And then the windows are just about floor to ceiling. What makes them look so incredible is how they're encased in wood with all the detail. So like I said, this is an 80 foot lot home. Let's just keep going this way. Which these 80 foot lot homes are gonna start around about 780. And you do get to go to the design center with grand homes. So that's going to be base price. So just keep that in mind. Um, look at that window it goes almost all the way to the ceiling. More windows here in this breakfast area. So just keep that in mind. This is a four bedroom, four bathroom home with a game room and a children's retreat. So we'll go upstairs and see that later. But let's just take a moment to enjoy this beautiful kitchen. Oh, look at that backsplash that they chose to do instead of tile. It's absolutely gorgeous. The veining and the countertop with the open shelves. I am a huge fan. What do you think about the open shelving? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you <laughs> organized enough to have it? And then the lights at the underneath the cabinets just for a little bit of mood lighting. And this island is huge. I love the waterfall island that they've done here. Okay. Now you don't have to have cabinets like this with the glass. Um, you can have them, you know, with wood, but it is pretty. I think I would have to have at least a few that you couldn't see in. I'm not that organized. This neighborhood is gas, which is definitely preferred for a lot of chefs. So beautiful, beautiful kitchen. I like how light and bright it is, how open it is. And one thing I wanna step back because I, I just noticed something. So there's a sofa here and then there's a sofa here. I really like that. Tell me what you think. If you entertain a lot, that's a great idea. Even if you just have, you know, you've got small children, they come home from school and you're cooking and, you know, maybe you don't want them watching TV or playing video games and instead they're sitting here doing homework or you're just talking while they're cooking. But for entertaining, this is a great idea. And if you didn't want two sofas like that, well, then you have more space for a bigger sofa. This home truly is Grand Homes. I know that's the name of the builder as well, but wow, they sure do live up to their name. Okay, we are about to head to one of my favorite spaces or my second favorite space, and that's going to be the master bedroom. Okay, this is light, bright, inviting, and the ceiling detail is so beautiful. Oh my goodness, this bathroom is absolutely fantastic. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn my camera around now so you can see how beautiful this space is. The builder honestly did a fantastic job and I can't wait for you to see it. Okay, let's head back into this bedroom just so you can see it, how beautiful it is. The windows, there's a door that takes you outside. We'll go outside later. Um, these floor to ceiling windows that flank the bed lets in even more light and look at the ceiling, this detail in the wood and the coffered ceiling is absolutely beautiful. Love the barn doors that they did here. It's modern, um, but yet still adds a lot of detail. Then you have this bathroom in here that is, look, it might not be the largest bathroom I've been in, but the detail is absolutely amazing. I love a good standalone bathtub. This wood look tile is very striking against these um, almost black cabinets with the gold accent. And then the walls that they did the paneling on the walls um, is very, very nice. And it carries all the way up to the ceiling as well. You have two vanities in here, so everybody gets their own space. A true walk through shower. Now I need to know your thoughts on this. It is very, this shower is very beautiful. And I love the tile, how it picks up a lot of the different tones. You've got some grays, golds, uh, browns, cream. So I like how it picks up the tones of the floor and then the gold or the almost like an old or brushed gold on the finishes. And then you've got a different tile here and then a different tile on the floor. It's a lot, but it all works really well. Another shower head on the ceiling. But what I wanna know your opinion on is, okay, this is an amazing shower. I have to say it is, it's walk through, but would you be cold? <laughs> I know there's two shower heads. Let's take a look at that again. Would you be cold? There are no doors right here. So what do you think about that? Is it, do you need some doors or at least one door? I don't know, what are your thoughts? 
Uh, here is the closet. And by the way, the closet, you can come out around the other side. Oh, fun under the stairs. Okay, so that's the closet. Um, but this vanity right here, I've never seen a vanity this size before. I don't think you can appreciate the depth. This is at least double the depth of a normal bathroom vanity. And then all the windows that surround it. I don't know about you, but this would be my space for putting on makeup <laughs> because the light is just too good. So this is a beautiful bathroom with more detail than I've seen in a lot of the bathrooms on a lot of the other videos that we have on model homes. Here is just one of four bathrooms and I really wanted you to see this because once again, it has wallpaper. I always say in small spaces, oh, I know you're a little close. It's hard to see. I always say in small spaces to basically go big or go home because you can always change this. So I love the wallpaper. And one thing I do like about this as well as the tile goes all the way up to the ceiling, which gives it a more luxurious look. They even finished out the edges here. Uh, I don't see that often either. Um, I like that finished edge. It's not raw. And then this brushed gold that they're using is really pretty. Um, the countertop, how thick that is. Very pretty, That kind of that waterfall countertop. So I just wanted you to see this bathroom because I thought it was really beautiful. It is very important that anytime you are going to look at model homes that you take your realtor with you on the very first visit. We love our builders, we love our sales reps, but builders are building for themselves. Their contracts are very builder sided. And so you need someone looking out for you and representing you. And a lot of times when you go to a model home without your agent on the very first visit, they may not let you be represented at all. So it's always good to do that. Even if you're on a Sunday drive, at least for us, and you just see this model home, call me first and let me know you're going. I'll meet you there. But it is very important that you always take your realtor with you on the very first visit. You need someone representing you. Okay, we have finally come upstairs. This staircase is so beautiful. Winding staircase. And then from up here, there you go, I'll give you a view. It's just so beautiful. It's really 360 degree views from upstairs. But let's keep going so you can kind of get a sense of where we are. I did want to talk a little bit about the city of Corinth. Like I said, it is very close to Denton. In fact, it is Denton ISD. Um, you keep bathroom up here with the tile. Go crazy in small spaces, by the way. I always say that. Um, you got another bedroom up here. I love the mural they did. Um, so Corinth is Denton ISD. Um, however, it is also close to Lake Dallas. Oh, that is so fun. That yellow is so bright. And um, there's a balcony on, in this room. Um, and Lake Dallas ISD is open enrollment. Um, so you have that. Um, this neighborhood is right off of I-35 East. So if you're commuting to Dallas, you would just get on the expressway in the morning to go to Dallas and then on the expressway on the way home to come home from Dallas. There's plenty of shopping and dining here in Corinth, um, but Corinth doesn't have like a small downtown like some other cities do, like Denton or Salina or Prosper. I wanna point this out real quick. This is the game room area, okay? I like the detail of the built-in there. And this is what's called the children's retreat. Okay, take a few steps up here. And if you wanted to, you could have a media room off of the game room. So that's another option with another bedroom. So like I said, with grand homes, there are a lot more options than I've seen with other builders. I love this space up here. So yes, so Corinth is off I-35, plenty of shopping and dining here, but they don't really have a community space like other towns do. So they are building what's called Agora at Corinth, and it's just a free community space, a gathering space um, for the people that live here because that was something that they said was, hey, we don't really have somewhere to go and hang out with our family. We have to go to other cities to do that. So Corinth listened and that is on its way. Okay, another bathroom up here. And then we're headed to another space up here. Very, very nice. Okay, let's look at this so we can appreciate this design here. Here we go. Okay, so Grand Homes has just really done a fabulous job on their designs. 
Okay, it is a little drizzly outside today, but I still wanted you to see the backyard because this is an 80 foot lot home, which is a pretty good size. A lot of uh, homes you're gonna see are on 50, 60 or 70 foot lots. I don't usually see a lot on 80 foot lots. So um, this is a good size house. You can see that there's plenty of room for a pool, a 4,100 square foot home, four bedroom, four bathroom, with a game room, the children's retreat, the study, there's still room for a swimming pool back here. And I will say this isn't the largest pool, um, but one thing I like and one thing I'm noticing now with pools is they're not as big as they used to be because I think people are noticing more and more that when you're swimming in the pool, you're kind of gathering in one spot rather than taking up the entire pool. So you don't really need a massive pool. Um, I'm a fan of pools. And if you live here in North Texas, you would be too. But I just wanted you to get a feeling for um, an 80 foot lot with a big house and plenty of room for a beautiful pool. So Grand Homes does have a variety of floor plans. And I mentioned that they have 40 foot lots, 50 foot lots, 60 and 80 foot lots as well. So really there's just a lot of different options to suit your budget and to suit your needs. The 40 foot lots are going to be very, very, very small lots. And what they're noticing a lot of is uh, multi-generational families living in the neighborhoods. So you might have a family buying um, a home on a bigger lot and then their parents are buying the houses in the same neighborhood, but on a smaller lot. So um, you might not have your parents living with you, but they're just down the street. So I think that is a really genius idea. And like I mentioned earlier, Corinth is not far at all from the city of Denton, which is just really right up the road where you're gonna find a lot of nightlife there. You've got the uh, Denton downtown square with a lot of festivals and things like that. So Corinth is nicely situated between Denton and Dallas, but there are a lot of nice restaurants here. There is shopping here and there's even a shop that just opened up called Mike's Bakery. He's from New Jersey. And apparently that's a pretty big deal because bakeries are more popular up north than they are here. So I might have to go check it out because we actually don't have a lot of bakeries in the area. We do have some, but not a lot. So especially if they're gonna be a, uh, like a, a one-off or um, a small business owner rather than a chain, that's always exciting to get things like that in your town. So I think I might have to go check that out. But Grand Homes here in Corinth, Texas, there are a lot of options to choose from. If this is something that you're interested in, they have communities here in Corinth. It is a North Texas thing, Grand Homes. They're also in Salina. They're in a couple other places, but they're mainly here in the North Texas area. So I'd love to help you answer any questions you have about Grand Homes, the pricing in other areas and things like that, because there are a lot of options when it comes to Grand Homes. But we have a lot of other videos on uh, Denton, on Salina, and on Prosper, one in Pecan Square, which is in North Lake and Justin. So go back and take a look at those and we'll see you on the next one.